Hey everybody, Adam Savage here in my cave, uh, doing some Q and A's for tested patrons. Um, today's Q and A has to do with my lathe. And so I thought I would come over here to the lathe to execute it. Um, the question comes from John Zizolfo. Zizolfo, Zizolfo. I, I'm probably butchering it and I apologize. Uh, John wants to know, Oh, sorry. It's not John's question. It's, <laughs> there's another video with John's question, but this video is Moultrie Manic McCanny. Okay. Says, why don't you use center drills to start holes when you're using a lathe? I'm not sure I've ever seen you use one and it's so much easier. I totally agree with you. Um, for the uninitiated, uh, here, let's come on over here and I'll walk you through what the hell we're talking about because it's actually really cool. Um, let's see here. I want to yeah, get rid of that. Let's pop. Yeah, great. Okay. Ooh, let's move you over here. Sorry if that's a little sick making. Okay, so here I am with, uh, let's see, if I do this. So here is some material that I wish, uh, focus. There it is. Here is some material that I wish to drill into and here is my drill bit. So if I chuck it into my keyless chuck and I start to move it towards my material. Here, I'll slow this down so we can. What's going to happen is when this approaches, uh, it, for once it didn't do it. <laughs> All right, here's the thing the end of a twist drill uh, is not ideal for center drilling. Here's a big one, and here's a close-up of what it looks like. It's, um, oh my God, focus. There we go. There. there we go. Okay, so there's the tip of my... Oh my God, come on, there we are. So that's the tip of your standard twist drill. It's not great for starting a center hole. In fact, it can wander quite a bit. Um, and if you're trying to, come on, come on, there we go. Um, if you're trying to go into material with just a drill bit like this, what you often see is that when the moment it hits the material, it starts to do a little bit of this. Whoop, 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 whoop. That means it hasn't gone in perfectly centered. Hence the need for what we're calling the center drill. And here is a, that's what a center drill looks like. This is a big one. Um, this is just to show you that, oh my God, the focus is driving me batty. Here we go. All right, here. Doop. That's it. That is the tip of a center drill. Now, the way the center drill works, it's got a similar kind of tip, but it's also got this big fat shoulder. So there's no way this wants to flex like a normal drill bit can flex. Even though drill bits are made of steel, they can move way more than you think they can. And a center drill is literally called what it's called because it runs that crap off at the pass. And there are many different sizes. Uh, here's the next one down. Here's the, I know it doesn't quite, there we go. There's the next one down. And then you can even get these little tiny ones. And again, they're for specific, you know, sp starting specific kinds of holes. Um, in fact, in fact, I use them so much, I keep a full, oh my God, I need a manual focusing knob for this. I use these so much, I made this little holder to keep these on my lathe because I use them constantly. I can't believe I just shut that. I mean, I just did it and didn't film it. Hold on just a second here, let's see. Oh, 
watch him out. <laughs> Normally, I wouldn't have this cantilevered this far out for a center hole only, but I'm doing it for demonstration purposes. Here we go. So, this is so you see that little nub in there? That normally could throw your drill bit way off. Actually, let's watch that. Let's do that. Hang on. This will be fun. I like making mistakes on purpose. All right, we'll use this little twist drill here. This is the kind of, this is what happens all the time. You go to do this drill and come on in. There you go. See it's moving? Can you see that? See it. Yeah, here, hold on. Yeah, okay, so you see this is moving. It's very little, but now that hole, now this hole is not centered. Luckily, we can fix that. When you run into that issue, God, focus, there we are. We're gonna fix that with this center drill here. Oops, sorry. And its shoulder here, its big, nice, manly shoulder. Manly, maybe I shouldn't say that anymore. It's big, lovely, strong shoulders provide the kind of resistance necessary. Here, let's get all the way in here. That's it. Come on. Come on. There we are. You see how that hole, you see how you can see the edge of that hole moving a little bit? Just ever so subtle. It's probably off by only five or six thousand. There we go. The twist drill. Ah, uh, yeah, there we go. Now, Now what I have here is a beautifully centered hole. It's not moving at all. And that is what a center drill is for. Yes. And so, Moultrie Manic McKenney, uh, in response to your question, why don't you ever see me use the, uh, uh, the center drill? It's simply because I probably used it and then started shooting. Because I use it for almost every single hole I use it. I use, I, I use, the center drill for almost every single hole I drill on the lathe. If you've ever seen me chuck something in and not use it, it's because it didn't matter. It's because it's like an aesthetic part and who cares about being off five or 10 thou. Um, but for anything mechanical remotely or repeatable, I always use them. Hence the reason they're always here right at the ready. Um, it is an excellent question and center drills are fantastic things. Uh, they are like that little extra step that makes things just better. You could work for days on end not using them and you might not notice. But if you do use them, you're running a lot of future complications off at the pass. I've had things that weren't properly center drilled by the smallest amount and it caused parts to bind mechanically um, in ways that were very hard to ferret out. Um, thank you so much for that question, Moultrie Manic Mechanic. It's probably Moultrie Manic Mechanic. Somebody maybe stripped off a C off the end of your name. Anyway, thank you for that excellent question. Uh, I hope you feel more confident now that I'm using the that I am using the lathe as properly uh, as I might, and uh, I will see you guys next time. Thanks.